Happy Monday. Happy Blessing Day. I want to talk to you today about how to pray God's blessing over yourself and your family. Huh? Hey, this, is, this blessing is such an amazing thing. I have been praying the blessing over our country. God gave the priest, and we're going to talk about this today. God gave the priest the authority to speak the blessing. He said, this is how I want you to do it. So I'm going to do that right now over all the people watching this video and over our country. Some people have told me since the events of the last few days that they believe that perhaps the blessing I've been speaking over America may have had something to do with what's going on. I don't know. Honestly, I'm always ready to take credit for something. But in this case, I don't know. But I do know that me speaking of the blessing over our country certainly hasn't hurt anything. God told the priests to do this. As far as I know, probably nobody else is doing it like this. It makes a big difference. God says, if you, when you speak this blessing over the people, and he means the nation, you are putting my name on them and I will bless them. So my obligation is to speak that blessing. God's obligation becomes to bless you. So, in the name of Jesus, I bless the United States of America and all the people in it. And to this country and to this nation and to the people, I say, I say, the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. Amen. Say this with me. The rest of my life is the best of my life. The best of my life is the rest of my life. Everything I touch turns to gold. I am smart, getting smarter every day. I am extremely talented. Great things are coming my way. Everything always works out for me. I am a wonderful person. Pastor Jim is a wonderful pastor. Pastor Jim is the ultimate pastor. We are extending because there's mail-in ballots that haven't been counted yet. We're extending the ultimate pastor election for another week. Because some people have not been able to get their ballots in. So that's what I heard. Somebody said that. It may have been me. But somebody said it. So we're going to extend it another week because my brother wants to make sure that all the votes are counted. And that there is no evidence of fraud in this election. No evidence. He's going to make sure there's no evidence of fraud in this election. Now, I'm telling you, folks, we've gotten thousands and thousands of votes have come in. And I have no idea who's leading or what's going on. All I know is the votes are coming in. My brother is the one responsible for counting them. I don't even know where he is right now. Sometimes he disappears for months at a time. I hope he doesn't pick this time to disappear. But he said he would count the votes. So I'm holding him to his word. So, you know, I mean, when you have an identical twin brother, the least you should be able to do is depend on him, I would think. So Harvey will take care of all that and will announce, he'll tell us who the winner is uh, a week from today week from today and 
barring any unforeseen national emergency, we will have a ceremony. So that's coming up. And whoever it is will be informed that they've won and they will be invited here. Their tickets, their airplane tickets, everything will be paid for. Their, their food will be paid for. Their lodging will be paid for. Everything, and they'll be the guest of honor here. So praise God for that, huh? So I'm talking about this week uh, our, on how to pray. This is our prayer week. Don't you think we need a prayer week? Huh? I think, yeah, you know what? And there's been a lot of people praying already. But we're going to learn some things about prayer this week. Don't forget about this book about how, how to be healed by God. Make sure every sick person you know gets one of these books. If you know anybody who's sick or having problems, whatever, and they need healing, even financial healing. You know, uh, being broke is financial sickness, folks. And it can be healed. And actually, the truth of the matter is, it can be healed the same way as physical sickness. So praise God for that, huh? So uh, make sure that you uh, that you get one of these books into their hands. You can get them at Amazon, have them sent there. You order it at Amazon, you get it in two days. But give it to them. Send it to them. You don't even have to tell them who sent it. But make sure they get it. You absolutely could save somebody's life by doing that. How to pray. Did you know that this is the best book, second best book ever written on prayer? This book is a hundred, not even a hundred pages. It is, it's a small book, pretty small book. Let's see, it is 59 pages. But you know, that, and there's been books written on prayer, volumes and volumes and volumes. There's people write series of books on prayers. But none of them do what this book does. Do you know what this book does? It teaches you how to get results. This is one of our big sellers on Amazon. People buy this book. And you know why they buy this book? Because they want to get their prayers answered. Do you know, as a way of introduction to this book, that contrary to popular belief, there is a right way and a wrong way to pray. Please share this video with everybody you know. Make sure you call me today if you want me to speak the blessing over you on an individual basis like a lot of people do. Even though I bless everybody when I bless our country, a lot of people want that blessing spoken over them. And I am always available. I love to speak that blessing. You know, a lot of times if, if somebody new calls me and I'll be sitting there and I'll put the phone on speaker and, and they want the blessing spoken over them, I'll speak the blessing over them. And then when the phone is hung up, I'll say to Mary, there's another one. Or Mary goes, that's another one. You know what that another one means? It's another person blessed. Another person blessed. Because once that blessing is spoken over a person, that blessing will be upon them for the rest of their life. All they have to do then is develop their faith for it. We had a case, I got to tell you. And I'm talking today about how to speak the blessing over yourself. How to pray the blessing over yourself. We had some people a couple years ago show up in our church. Man and a woman came in late. They sat down in the back. I didn't know them, but I thought she looked a little bit familiar. And uh, we just went on with our service. At the end of the service, I spoke the word for word blessing over the people like I always do. And when I finished, that lady stood up, pointed her finger at me, and she says, now I remember you. She said, we came to your house for a, a fellowship one night five years ago and you spoke that blessing over us. I said, oh, 
How nice. She said it's more than nice. We're rich. Our finances have gone to the roof. She said everything in our life changed after we were there. And we never realized why. We never knew it was because you had spoken that blessing over us. She said, but we know it now. Glory to God. I'll tell you, it works in the lives of people even if they don't know what's going on. You don't have to know what's going on to get healed. You don't have to know what's going on to, to get your finances blessed. All you have to do is just be quiet. They never contradicted that blessing. They didn't know what had happened. They didn't pay any attention to what had happened. They didn't care about what had happened. They just came there. They had a good time. They left, never came back. But that blessing was on them. It was on them. And it changed their lives. And then she knew it. Oh, my goodness. And her husband's going, yap, 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 yap. Glory to God. You can pray this blessing over yourself. Numbers chapter 6. Re open your Bibles and read it over yourself. I do this every morning. I do this every night before we go to sleep. The last thing I do before I go to sleep is pray this blessing over us and our family and our church and our partners. Do you know that if you're a partner of this ministry, I am speaking this blessing over you twice every day? Every single day. I am absolutely beyond determined that you people are going to be empowered for success and be successful. And God told us how to do it. He said, use the blessing. Use the blessing to empower the people. This, he wanted... He wanted Aaron and the priests to speak this blessing because he wanted the children of Israel empowered for success when they went into the promised land. I got news for you. If you're born again, you're right on the edge of the promised land. All you got to do is get that blessing and you'll start to live in good health and abundance. It just increase your, 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 your faith for it. Read my book, The Blessing. Read this prayer book. We'll get your prayers answered for you. But you start by praying this prayer over yourself every single day. Ask God for the spirit of wisdom and revelation and knowledge. And then speak this blessing over yourself. Some of the people in our church will speak it over themselves and over their families every single day. You can do that. You're actually praying that blessing. But that prayer is a prayer of declaration. You're not asking God to bless you. You're declaring his blessing. God didn't say, ask me to bless you. No, he said, to declare, declare it, speak it. You say it. He gave us the exact words to use. I use those exact words every single time. Some of you people I've probably blessed a thousand times because you call me all the time. When you call me, I speak that blessing over you. I want to make sure you're blessed. You can't speak that blessing too much over anybody. Some people, I speak it over once like that lady, and five years later, it's still in effect. It's going to be in effect all your life, but I just like to give it a little boost. I like to boost the blessing. The Jewish people speak that blessing over, the rabbis speak that blessing over the people every time they show up. Doesn't matter how often they show up. 85% of them live in absolute abundance. Share this video with everybody you know. Make sure you call me if you need prayers answered, if you need healing. This is the only ministry in the country where people can actually call and get results. That's why I have a good chance of winning the ultimate pastor election because I'm available and because I get results. I don't know anybody else that's like that, but I am, and I am always here for you. If you're a partner of this ministry, you got my phone number and you know you can call and I will pick up the phone for you. I love you more than words can ever say.